I'm Dr. Ivan. I'm the medical director here in R3 Clinic in Tijuana. I'm also part of the Mexican Council of Stem Cell Therapy. The way I, I, I always explain them is how do we all communicate, right? We have different ways of communicating with each other. We have the internet, we have the highways, we have speaking to each other. When we're talking about human to human communication, we're talking about a cell to cell communication. How do cells communicate if they cannot speak? Okay? Well, they do what is called paracrine communication. Okay? And that happens in, in a sense like making a bubble with a message, throwing it out so that the other cell can catch it and process it. Okay? That, when a cell wants to give an information, they form a protein, they form messenger RNA, they form communicating proteins, and they will encapsulate them in what is called a vesicle. Once the vesicle goes out of the cell, it's called an exosome. Okay? That exosome will get into the other cell, it will get digested, process it, and once it gets processed, that is how the communication starts. So it boosts a lot the, the information because all of the exosomes that we use are exosomes that come from the mesenchymal stem cells, right? All cells can make exosomes, right? But the ones that we're using are from the mesenchymal stem cells, so they help the communication to repair, okay? To create new cells. The, the information that they manage is to repair and create new tissue. That is how it helps.